While you enjoy the 24-hour marathon of the classic holiday film, A Christmas Story Today, here are a few fun facts about the movie for you. First of all, it's important to note that when this movie was released in theaters, it was not a hit. In fact, it bombed. It only became a hit after it was released on video. It was one of the first movies to have more success in the video format than during its original release. The film is based on Gene Shepard's book, In God We Trust, All Other Pay Cash, a semi-autobiographical tale about Shepard's life going up in Hammond, Indiana. When it came time to cast the voice talent for the narration in the film, producers screened hundreds of actors. In the meantime, Shepard had cut a scratch track for the film. Scratch tracks are used for editing and are usually replaced in the final edit with a professional voice actor. Upon further examination of the scratch track, the producers decided that their search was futile. They decided, who could read it better than the man who lived it? So, Gene Shepard became not only the writer of one of the most famous Christmas movies of all time, but the narrator as well. Many agree that Shepard's work in this area is outstanding, especially when he reads the description of such things as his father's s struggle with the furnace, young Ralphie's continued quest for a Red Ryder BB gun, and how the Bumpus Hounds stole the family Christmas dinner. In terms of memorabilia, the film has spawned a cult following that has led to an overwhelming market for all things, leg lamp, inspired. There are sweaters with the infamous, prize, on them, leg lamp ornaments, and actual working leg lamps. As for the location where the movie was shot, in 2004, an entrepreneur bought the Cleveland, Ohio, home that was used as the family home and after extensive renovations, the Christmas Story House and Museum opened to the public in 2006. The site is open year-round and features behind-the-scenes photos as well as a gift shop where you can pick up your own, major award. One of the coolest aspects of the Christmas Story House and Museum is that every year there is an auction for the privilege of spending Christmas in the house. All of the money from the auction goes to charity. For more on the Christmas Story House and Museum, click here. While all of this is quite interesting, the most fascinating element of a Christmas story is really what happened off-screen to get the film made. To explain what happened, it's imperative to know that the film was directed by a man named Bob Clark, who had an interesting career prior to directing the now Christmas classic. Clark actually started in the horror genre with movies including Black Christmas and Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. He then segued to teen comedy directing both Porky's and Porky's 2, the next day.